at the runway, today many interesting things happening. Gonna be the first run ever on this duel. I'm not gonna lie, I am terrified. There's just a lot going on here. Yes. Terrified, not gonna lie. Just gonna get a feel for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys. And guys, watch out. First run ever on this one, okay? Okay, okay. We got straightened up, turned around. Oh, my heart is pounding. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Seems like the car works fine. Stop, read. 179, not bad for a first run on this car. It's actually a really good sign because it was geared very, very conservative. So uh, 179 miles an hour, first time hitting the uh, asphalt with this one. I'm gonna gear up and, um, and try it again. Super good sign, first run ever for this duel, 179 miles an hour. And the most beautiful thing about it, which is actually shocking to me also, 311 amps. We got Shmuel in the house. That's gonna be the first run for this build. 1721. Yeah, 1721, brand new build. Good luck, man. Thank you. One sixty. Okay, 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 dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got Shachar in the house. What do we got here, Shachar? Uh, we have Cordova. Car is on the center line. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Right, so Adam is gonna have a go. This car is used to be mine, actually, and I sold it to him. He's done some changes to it. Good luck, Adam. Thank you. Nice one. Nice. Good job, Adam. Yeah. Guys, what do you think about our rising star? Wow, we're proud of you, Kido. Stop. Read. Nice! Good job, man. All right, so Iran is gonna show us something with a Typhon, we're shooting for 162 miles an hour today. Good luck, man. Right. 153, okay, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna do our second run on this car. I geared up four teeth. Now this is still without overcharging or hitting up the lipos. This is again, just uh, kind of getting a feel for the car, but uh, very, very capable build. Stop, read. 185, very interesting. A lot less than I thought, uh, not a good sign. We're gonna see maybe that's the time because these are the 6500 milliamps uh maybe that's the time that we have to start hitting those up those lipos man let me tell you they will do nothing if you don't hit them up well nothing we're talking about 185 miles an hour but uh you have to hit them up so now is the time that we have to start hitting them up and i'm pretty sure that we're gonna pull logs we're gonna see that the voltage just plummet 185 miles an hour second one ever for this car we gear down four teeth on the spool of course Amperage, look at that beautiful amp hour line, man. This is probably as more be as mo the most beautiful as you can get, but uh, voltage dropped and dropped a lot, like we suspected, 185 miles an hour on 364 amps. So that's a really, really good sign, but 25.2 for the voltage. So like we said, Onyx, they need heat and they need a lot of heat. So now we're gonna, it's just a burden because I have to take them out of the car and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna take them out of the car, charge them, heat them up. I'm not gonna change the gearing. I just wanna have the voltage holding just a little bit more. And then we're gonna play with gearing a little bit. I can gear up right now, but the voltage is just gonna drop more and sag more and more and more to like the 24, 23 volts, so. Okay, Shaha is gonna try another run with that 1446. Shaha, what do we got, man? We have something, something here. Something, something. Yes, we have a Cordova. Yes. We have SMC, everything is, Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber? Yes, it has 
a, a perfect pass shaft. Oh, the V1 though. Yeah. Oh, that is not doing so well, huh? Uh, let's All really right. Very, okay. Very okay. Yeah. All right. We got mayor going. So we have obviously infraction. What do we got here? A lot of goodies. 1100 kV. Yeah. And SRD 8000s. Yeah. All right. Curious. Let's go. That's a new PB for our rising star, maybe. Woo! Nice! 162. Good job, man. Awesome. Yeah. Brilliant, eh? It's a good day today. Fast pass. Not bad. Long pass. 162, 162. Okay, 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 good job. Okay. Love it. Our rising star. Trying his luck one more time. Oh, too much to the left. Don't laugh, this is not nice. This is not nice. This is good. This is not nice. Not a horrible person, really. Oh, we still alive. You guys are horrible people, you know. This is not okay. You're kidding me. So the car, oh man, this sucks. This, the car hits this rock. And then this rock. Wow. Oh my God. Damn, man. This is nuts. I want to see if I have it on video. That's crazy. I didn't even pay attention. Just curious about the speed. All right, guys, so we did 185. My GoPro actually died, so Iran is gonna help me out with it. Uh, we kept the same gearing and setup. We just overheat a little bit, sorry, overcharge a little bit and heat up the lipo. Just trying to get a feel for it. That works. Track, start. What you do? Very fast. For the third run ever on this car. Pretty interesting. All right. And stop. 199 awesome 199 miles an hour for the third one of this car man great so here's the best news we're all sitting here or standing here rather shocked 199 miles an hour and the best part four hundred and forty three amps that's the voltage of obviously they were overcharged and heat up but uh 443 amps on 199 miles an hour. Amazing. I want to say that might be a 220 car. Might be a 220 car. So we'll see. Shahar got a new 2028 1700. I hope for 175. 175? Yeah. yeah. With those gearing and the 6500 SRD without hitting them up or overcharging? Let's see. No. Uh, like a 158. Well, let me tell you, I think we nailed it. I think it's like a 158 ish. See what we got. Shahar drives with one hand. Oh, my That's my table. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Stop. Oh. One sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one sixty seven. Great job, man. Shahar is gonna have a go now. He's already lined up. Oh, 176. Nice. Damn. Oh, he's aggressive today. 
he's here for a PB. So our rising star, his PB is 162, and we're hoping to improve it a tad today. New PB. Yeah, of course. Yes. Oh, 165. Good job. Thanks, man. Good job. Nice one. Yeah. Nice. 175. Good job, Adam. Strong run, man. Strong run. Welcome to the 180s. Nice one. Nice job, sir. Thank you. Let's, nice job. Let's see. Wow. Feels like a... Now everyone knows your password. Yay! Yes! Nice one. 181. Thank you. Good job. Stop. Read. Yo! 183! Awesome, man! Awesome! Yes! Nice! Nice, man! 183, dude! Adam! <laughs> That's wonderful, I love it! So you guys probably think the video is over because I'm back at the studio. It's not. We're gonna go back into the runway in about 20 seconds. I forgot something. You guys remember this car, right? So this is the perfect pass test car. We actually test products on this car. We run it a billion times before we launch the product just to be sure. I showed you in the previous video how this car looks with a perfect setup when we tested the speedrun springs by Perfect Pass. I didn't show you something and I would love to show you something. What happens when you don't clean the runway properly and you hit a rock at 188 miles an hour? I completely forgot, so I'm putting it back into the edit. Enjoy. Right, so this sucks, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. And then that day, we did not clean the runway properly at the end of it. And well, that happened. Before I let you guys go, there is one very, very important thing that I would like for all of you to know. Okay, so I actually took a seat because it's as important. This is actually very, very crucial. Listen up. In my videos, you hear a lot overheating the lipos and overcharging lipos, right? So you hear those terms a lot in my videos. And I don't want you guys to think that this will give you speed or performance if you're just not there yet, okay? This can actually be catastrophic for you, as in losing your house or loved ones. Trust me, I've heard about cases that people actually burn their houses doing so. So if you know exactly what you're doing, you've built LiPos before, you know exactly how your charger is operating, how your batteries are operating, you know exactly what you're doing, sure, you do you, you probably already know. But if you're not, it's not going to give you extra performance or speed if you're just not there. I would say probably a rule of thumb. If you're like a 170 mile an hour driver, 180 mile an hour driver, you already understand electronics. You understand your batteries in most cases, right? You understand your charger. You know what you're doing. So yes, you can sometimes overcharge your lipos a little bit while monitoring them and overheat your batteries and whatnot. But guys, please, this is extremely dangerous. Don't actually do it if you're not there just don't you're not going to gain anything if you're not there anyway at 170s 180s you're not going to gain anything by overcharging your lipos or hitting them up it's actually extremely extremely dangerous some guys that actually noticed me telling about uh t talking about it in my videos said hey man maybe you would like to comment something about it because that's extremely dangerous you'll have some guys out there that just started or they're like um in the middle of their speedrun career right and they will try to hit up lipos because they saw that you did and it can be very very catastrophic so please if you don't know what you're doing if you don't really know your batteries your chargers and exactly what you're doing don't try to hit up your lipos do not try to overcharge your lipos up to about the 170 175 180 mile an hour mark you don't need to hit up lipos or overcharge them to get to those speeds so if you're like a beginner driver, 130s, 40s, 50s, whatnot, and you're trying to do so just to gain speed and performance, first, you're not going to. And second, it can be catastrophic, extremely dangerous to overcharge lipos and heat up lipos. If you really know what you're doing, sure. But if you don't, honestly, 
stay away from it, all right? I'm Ross Schifrin, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content and you're new here, consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Actually, Team Israel is getting stronger and stronger, so things are gonna get pretty interesting in 2023. See you guys.